In this tutorial, I'll be showing you about Goodyear's stock. Just type it in Google, click enter, and you'll get this information in Google. You can see this information that's the name of the firm, that's the symbol of the stock, GT. For one stock, it's 12.58 US dollars. Then you can see the market cap in billions, which means the big size firm, the dividend yield 5.09%. Any firm that is paying dividend. That means they're financially strong because after paying their creditors, loans, liabilities, they still have extra money. That extra money pays to shareholders as dividends. Even if the dividend was um, 1% or below that, that is still a positive news because that means the firm is financially strong. That's extra money of the firm. So um, that's brilliant. Let's go to Wikipedia and I want to see when was this founded. I can see founded in 1898, right? And uh, I want to see what the employees have to say about this. So what I'll do is I'll copy this exactly and I'll paste it in Indeed reviews and click there. And you can see 2,400 reviews, 3.8 star. Go through the reviews yourself, the pros and cons. The check out the photos, the jobs listed and the questions asked. And let's go to um, Glassdoor, check out the reviews in Glassdoor as well. And uh, we can see 1200 reviews and it's 3.3 star. Read through the pros and cons yourself. Check out the jobs listed, the service they are paying, the interview questions, the benefits uh, people are getting, the photos and everything. Now, just go to Just Here Patents and see if it has any patents or not. So I'll just click enter and I can see that please concentrate on assignee or applicant because these are people who have full rights of the patent. I can see patents in 1999. Um, 2000, 2001, 2001, 2000, 2004, 2008. Please, that's brilliant because the more patent a firm has, the more stronger it is, the more harder to, it is to beat that firm, which is brilliant. This means that the firm is very strong in the market. Um, and please look for recent patents in 2015, 16, 17, 18, because that means they're still innovating. Uh, which is important as well. So read, uh, go through the patents yourself. It's a big list, and um, which is brilliant, and it's a lot of lists. So I'm not going through it all. So you have to go through it yourself, I guess, and um, that's fine. Okay. So I can see in 2014 it has a patent. That's brilliant. So just go through the list yourself. Now let's go to Yahoo Finance and see who the key executives are and the salaries they are getting. So I'll just paste it here and I want to click GT which is the Nasdaq symbol and uh, go to uh, just once I go to profile and um, you can see the sector the industry and the employees here as well and I can see we have five key executives and all of their salaries have been shown that's brilliant because the more transparency the more better the more transparency about the salaries the more trust we're able to build with this firm which is brilliant and uh, now let's go to macro trend i want to see the important ratios go to price ratio price book ratio paste in the symbol and i want to say that if the price book ratio is less than one that means stock is cheap undervalued and at discount if the price book ratio is more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it will get so let's uh, let let it load first be patient with this website because it has a lot of data so it will take time to load but it will do magic for you hopefully please let me know if you have any questions for me or if you want to request um about any other stock that you're researching right now um i would love to make the video or tutorial on a particular stock that you're researching please let me know or if you have any questions for me please let me know as well Okay, I can see that it has a price book ratio of 0.58, which means that the stock is nearly 52% discount right now. And um, so whoever, whoever will buy right now will be getting 52% discount, which is brilliant. Let's look at um, 2019 June. The stock is 
30% nearly 30% discount if you just see vertically up you can see people who bought in March 2019 they paid $15.3 to buy something that was $21 worth so it's nearly 30% discount and right now it's nearly 52% discount and if you see in 2013 March it's 3.66 times expensive which means somebody who bought in 2013 March they paid $11.69 to buy something that was $3.2 worth so um, you know that's something to uh, think about in 2006 it's 12 times more expensive because somebody bought in 2006 March they paid $13 to buy something that was $1 worth so you know this is very brilliant to notice let's go to other ratios I want to go to current ratio if current ratio is less than one that means stock is risky because liabilities are more than assets and if current ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe it has a good margin of safety so look for 1.5 or more than that so let, let it load first and then we'll have a look. okay i can see that right now it's 1.34 which means that it's less than 1.5 i'm looking for 1.5 or more than that for it to be brilliant it's less than 1.5 so it's not really uh it's a risky stock i would say but let's have a look has it ever been 1.5 or more than that yes it has so um since 2005 we have data since 2005 up till I would say 2015 September it's 1.5 or more than that so it has been a safe stock which is brilliant news but since 2015 December up till now it is less than 1.5 so since 2015 December it's a risky stock let's go to debt equity ratio this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look right now i can see that it's uh the, the debt equity is a lot more than 0.5 it's a very risky stock and you can see vertically up the debt is a lot more than equity which is dangerous which is risky let's look at the previous trend has it ever been 0.5 or less than that let's have a look that's my question no so since i can see since 2005 up till now since recent 14 years it has always been more than 0.5 so it's a very risky stock in terms of long-term debt so um let's look at return on equity i'm looking for eight percent or more than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look
Okay. Right now, I can see that it's more than 8%. That's brilliant. Let's look at the previous trend. Has it ever been below 8%? Yes, it has in between. And then it has been more than 8%. Yes. And it has uh, a minus equity as well. So there's fluctuation, I guess. And uh, But recently, like, mostly it has been above 8%, I, I would say. But um, recently, it's above 8%. So that, that's brilliant. And um, so it's up to you to decide.